Hi, Mike Napoleon here with Super Speed Golf. Welcome to our YouTube channel. We're really excited you're here and that you're learning more about increasing your swing speed. Now, this protocol is our level one training protocol for our overspeed training product. We have a lot of other great products, partner products, and years worth of training available for free on our training site. Check out the links below to access all of that content for free. Hi, Mike Napoleon here with Super Speed Golf. This is our level one training protocol for the Super Speed Golf training system. I'm here with Ryan Robillard. He's gonna be going through this training today and he's gonna make every swing in this protocol so that you can follow right along with this video. Now, a couple things before we get started. Something that's new is we're gonna add in rest periods in the middle of the protocol. We've found this in a few different studies to be the most effective way to max out your speed training. Also, remember, always be swinging toward the driving range or the hitting net. I think that's very important for safety and make sure that you're in a safe environment to make these swings. Another key is don't hit the ground with the clubs. You can max out your speed if you swing a few inches above. Also, we're going to make sure that we switch our grip from our dominant grip to our non-dominant grip when we're switching between the dominant side swings and the non-dominant swings. All right, without further ado, we're gonna get into this training protocol. Ryan, are you ready to go? Let's do it. All right, we're gonna be using our men's set here. That's the green, blue, and red configuration. Now remember, if you're using uh, the senior, ladies, or junior set, your clubs are gonna be yellow, green, and blue. You can follow along the exact same way with that set, just substitute the yellow for the green, and so on. With Ryan, we're gonna use the men's set, and we're gonna get started. So we're gonna start with that light club, green club, we're going to start in our normal golf stance and we're going to make three swings that are as aggressive as we possibly can make it. So three swings, let it rip, Ryan. All right, good. When you're going through this training, I really think it's important to try to make each one of these swings a little faster than the one before it. That's a good way to really keep yourself intense through the protocol. Okay, Ryan, now we're going to go to our non-dominant swings. So we're going to switch our grip to our non-dominant grip. We're going to set up and we're going to try to still be as aggressive as possible while we go through these swings on the non-dominant side. This might feel a little awkward to you if you're just starting out with this training. I promise if you stick with it, it's going to feel a lot more coordinated by the second or third week. All right, good job on the green club. Now we're going to go to the blue club. We're going to add a little bit of weight back here to the club, and I want you to still really try to push through each one of these swings. Still try to maintain just the same amount of speed that you had with that green club. All right, good job. Now we're going to switch. Same thing, switch your grip, go to the non-dominant side. You'll also notice here that we're in an indoor studio and Ryan is actually switching um, you know, sides so that he's actually swinging in the same direction toward the hitting net. We recommend you do the same thing. All right, good job, Ryan. Now, before we get to the red club here, in fact, before we every time before we get to the red club in these protocols, we're going to take about a 60 to 90 second break, take some time, catch your breath, so that we can really max out these swings when we get back. We're going to pause the video for a second right here so you can take that break. Okay. Now that we're a little bit rested, we're going to start right off with the red club. We're going to try to maintain exactly that same speed we had with the blue, and we're going to go in those standing swings. All right, let it rip, Ryan, and really keep that speed up. We've added some weight back here. This club's actually about 5% heavier than your driver, so you've really got to push to maintain those same swing speeds you had before. All right, let's go right into those non-dominant swings. Again, really push that little bit of extra weight uh, it does make it a little harder to swing the same speed as the green club, but I want you to really push and be athletic and be aggressive here. All right, very good. Now, the next drill in our level one protocol is our step change of direction swings. Now, this is a drill where we're going to get a little bit more interaction with the ground. We're actually going to start with our feet together, and then as we start the swing, we're going to step that lead foot forward, plant it, and then swing through. You'll see Ryan do this in the, in the video here coming up. We're going to start back with the green club. And with these step change of direction swings, 
we're actually able to generate a little bit more speed. So feet together, swing, step, plant, and go. And just let it rip. This is all about getting outside of the box a little bit of your normal golf swing and just being as aggressive as you possibly can. All right, good, Ryan. Now we're going to go to the non-dominant side. Now, just like before, this is going to be a little awkward if you're just starting out this training. But I promise, stick with it for a few weeks. You're going to feel like these are becoming just as consistent and probably just as fast as the swings on your dominant side. All right, Ryan, really good. Moving right on to the blue club. Keep these step change of direction swings moving. I want to see these as aggressive as you can make them. Good. One more. Awesome. Okay, now let's go non-dominant side here with the blue. Right after we get through these three swings, we're going to have another break. So push hard in these last three swings here. Good. Awesome. One more. Make that last one before the break the fastest you can. All right. Good job, Ryan. All right. Now, we're going to pause the video here again. You're going to take another 60 to 90 second break, and then we're going to finish up this protocol. All right, now that we're back from our break, Ryan's on to the red club here with the step change of direction swings. We're going to start on the dominant side. Hopefully that little break keeps him maxing out his speed here and really push through. I know there's a little more weight to that club, Ryan, but really max it out. Good job. One more here on the dominant side. Awesome. Now let's go to non-dominant. We're in the home stretch here, so keep pushing through that training. Uh, don't let it get, you know, don't let it slow down in these last few swings. It's easy to do. Good. Keep pushing. All right, great. Now, with all of our super speed training protocols, we like to end with three swings on the dominant side with the lightest club in your set. So that's going to be the green club here. We call these max out swings because this is your chance to make the three fastest golf swings of your life from your normal golf stance. This is where we try to max it out every time we do a protocol. All right, Ryan, let's let it rip. Come on, three of them here. Good, I think he's got more though. Let's do, okay, here we go. Second one. All right, last swing, this is where it is. This is where it counts. Make this the fastest ever. Awesome. All right, really good job there, Ryan. Thank good you. job going through that. All right, everybody, that's our level one training protocol for super speed golf. The training protocols only get a little bit more aggressive from here. I hope you uh, had a lot of fun with this protocol and keep swinging fast.